Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating a Mangadi style car animation inside of the Fusion page. To get started, I have some assets over here that I'll be using for this project. These are PNG images of some buildings, silhouette, and a car as well. So the assets, I'll try and put the link in the description. You can download them, but if you want to, you can use your own assets from, I got these from PNG Wink. So feel free to use uh, your own assets. So I'm going to start off with creating the background. And for that, we will use a dark background like so. And then I want to add some starry sky. So for that, we will use a fast noise like that. And in the fast noise, go to color and set the alpha of the color one to one. And kind of use the same color, which is 0000 for B. And we will switch it to gradient. Use this color again. Let's go to the noise and set the scale to 50. And just, just change the contrast, brightness, and the detail. Let's go to color over here and just increase the gradient stop so that it is kind of closer and then let's just reduce the detail something like this should do yeah you can keep playing around with this till you are happy with that uh, you can even change the offset over here of the colors i think that looks good so now the next thing is the road for that we will use another background and let's call this one road this will be for, uh, I don't know, let's just rename the merge instead. This will be uh, sky. And instead of using merge, we'll use multi merge for this. So let's just try something else. I haven't used multi merge in a while, so I'm going to use that. And let's just uh, take a look at this road. And I'm going to add in a rectangle mask to this. Increase the width and just bring it down like so. Let's go to the road uh, background and set this to gradient. And let's create a gradient like this. And for the first color, we will use the same dark color over here. And let's just change the lightness and move it down. So it's darker than the background. Then for the second color, let's just use the same color as the background and just increase the lightness. So it's something like this connected to this multi merge take a look at it this is how it will look so now we will create the lines of the road so for that we will use a text type some dashes and increase the tracking and let's go to the shading over here scroll down till you see size and increase the x slider to the to the max which is five go back to the text tab and increase the tracking amount something like this and connect it to this multi merge so we'll end up with something like this go to text go to layout and re and change the center y bring it where the road is and now we will add some buildings so let's just go to media over here and use my first building asset and let me just show you the size of this asset it's 8000 by 3602 and also you can see that it has a lot of empty space in the around it so we first of all want to crop it to 1080 so the easiest way to do this is by adding a background and i also want to change the color so the background will do both things so just just connect the media in as an input mask to this background take a look at it you can see now it's 1920 by 1080 and i can also change the color of it great now I want to change, resize this. So after the media in, I will type in transform XF and scale it down. Did it fits in like so and change the position as well. Great. So combine it with the multi merge. We will have something like this. And let's just increase the lightness of this so that we can differentiate it. Uh, great. I want to arrange these layers now. So instead of calling it background two. Uh, we will call it building one because we will have more 
and now I'll just put it on top of or under the root layer so that it's behind it so something like this great um, and then you can use the transform and scale it down and you know kind of push it position it properly uh, maybe something like this and I can see that uh, the, there are empty space over here so to fill it up you can set the edges to mirror and that should fill it up well if it doesn't then what we can do is let's just reset this edges I will after the background to add in another transform Let's take a look at the multi merge again and let's reset the size over here. Okay, um, something like this. And now on the second transform, I can set the edges to mirror. Now, if I change the size, you won't lose the buildings anymore. You have more of these. You can try a wrap as well or mirror and if you change the position which we will do while animating it you will have more of these buildings so for now let's just uh, reset this we will repeat this process for other building so i'm going to copy and paste it down below and replace the asset simply dragging and dropping it so we'll replace it and connect it to this multi-merge look at it and we want to first of all take a look at this i don't think we need the transform here delete it and for the background i did change the color and for the transform we want this to be mirror and let's take a look at it all right so let's just go to the multi merge let's just go to the background first and change the color so that i want to make it different and then in the transform we will change the position and in the multi-merge we will rearrange it so instead of saying transform we'll say building two and put it on top of building one something like this or if you want to you can bring the building one in uh, in front which is kind of pretty easy to do with the multi-merge so now what we will do is add in the car now my car has the the body and the tires intact so but if i want to animate the tires i want that to be separate separated from the body so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just rename this to car body copy and paste this this will be the tires and let's mask out the tires from the car body we will use an ellipse for this and do this as precisely as you can right something like this should do we should change it a little bit and yeah, that should be good and i will create another copy of it and let's just move it forward like so on the front tire great now i want the car body so for that i need to go to first ellipse make sure it is set to invert and the second ellipse make sure it is set to subtract and that's how we can get the car body and we have some more of it so let's just try and remove it as well at that end let's do this over here something like that all right now for the tires over here let's take a look at it and we will actually copy the ellipse from here and paste it down below and we will uncheck inward so we are only left with the tire and now we want another tire so i will just use a duplicate set the copies is already set to two so all you have to do is just move it forward let's view this like so and let's connect these two together 
this result in merge one take a look at it so that we can see where we have to place the duplicate so it should go somewhere over here uh, great so we have our curve which is separated the body separated the tire is separated as well now if i just uh, connect it to this multi-merge this is what it will look like after the merge we will add in a transform this transform will contain the control a lot of elements it will control the body the tire we will add text and a triangle shape as well it will control all of that so let's just first of all scale it down and change the position of the car there we go now we will add in some text connect it up like so this will say 19 year old boy or something move it up like that and try and center it up then we will use s star and create a three-sided star set the angle to negative 90 so it's facing downwards and of course we need to scale it down as well to render it to see it we need an s render for the shape system so that we can connect it to this merge right so we have we have this now we go to s star and change the y offset and the x offset kind of try and align it like so for the style you can of course go with any style that you want and yeah for some a little i think we connected it as mask i'm not sure why we did why we did that we connect the rectangle mask to this merge 3 just so that we can have that nice effect over here this one okay so let's go to the multi-merge see what we have over here all right so we are we are done with the scene right now we need to do the animation part and for that let's start off with the road so let's just go to the very first frame and oh not the road the text over here which is road lines we will go to the very first frame, frame zero, create a keyframe there on center X and Y, go to the last frame and uh, move it to the left. So the animation will look something like this. Of course, it's too slow. So uh, increase it like that. You have some lines over here. If I just uh, move it to the right at the very first frame. So it's going to start from here. So from here and then end over here all right so now we can see there it's it's kind of moving and now for the buildings as well we have the transform over here let's animate the center x and y move it to the left the buildings in the front they will move faster than the buildings in the background so i'm going to set this to around 0 0.3 and now for the building that is in the back, we will create a keyframe for that and then kind of have this slow movement in it. All right, something like that. Then we will animate the car and all these elements over here with this single transform. So let's go to the very first frame, create a keyframe, send X, Y, let's go over here and after 60 frames let's just bring that in somewhere over here and keep going forward move it over here and then from here to the end it will kind of accelerate and move away from the scene we'll go to the spline and select the keyframes select all hit f to flatten that out you play the animation this is how it will look great for the tires we want to animate that so what we can do is we can add in a transform before the duplicate so if i add in a transform like so 
go to the first frame and right click on angle expression and type in time times 50. All right, so let's just play the animation. And as you can see, it's acting pretty weird. And the reason for that is because we forgot to change the uh, the anchor point uh, or the pivot point. So I'm going to re reset angle and I will change the pivot and make sure that it is right in the middle of the wheel over here. And now I can use the angle expression which is time times 50 and it will spin like so uh, if you think it's spinning anti-clockwise just add in a negative symbol it will spin clockwise uh, great so we have the car the tire spinning and if you want to you can go to transform settings enable motion blur also, you can see that over here, motion blur in action. There you have it. If you apply the transform after duplicate, weird things is weird things are going to happen. It will apply the transform on only the tire which is at the back, not on the one which is on the duplicate. So that's why we have to apply it before, like so. Uh, great, so that is pretty much it. We are pretty much done. That's all we have to do. Uh, and if you want to, you can add that little stop motion to this. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, do leave a like. Let me know how it was. And I will see you guys in the next one.